feel like I'm glowing right now. I, I haven't been this happy in a long time. This episode right here is gonna showcase so many things that I've wanted to showcase to you guys. I finally caught stuff on camera. You're finally gonna be able to see who my favorite player in FIFA is right now. It's just gonna be a sick episode. Welcome back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG edition. Yesterday I said, can we get 5,000 likes in the first hour? Y'all did it. Well, Booyah Nation, can y'all get 6,000 likes in the first hour? First of all, let me give you a motive. If you believe I can sneak into the top 100 this weekend and sneak into the monthly if you believe in me hit that thumbs up right now can we get 6,000 likes in the first hour that would be unbelievable you saw how I start the team and then when I get into the game I switch into this into the 4-3-2-1 with Sonaldo, Ronaldo and Walcott up top why why do I like this formation now why is this formation the formation I like in FIFA right now it's not the best formation in FIFA. It's not the best formation that I that I, I play the best with. It's not my go-to formation. My go-to formation is 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, 4-3-1-2, or 4-2-3-1. But why this formation? It's the formation that the GOAT plays well in. This formation is unbelievable for Sonaldo. The way he holds up the ball, the way he... Sonaldo's my favorite card in the game. This is a must-have card. I know people are going to comment, like, oh, there he goes, hyping up a card again. Oh, oh there, there. it's going to go on right at that. Oh, don't you hate when skills hypes up a card? Listen, I don't hype up a card just to hype up a card. His stats are going to be at the end of this episode. And when you see Sonaldo's stats, when you see what this guy's doing, matter of fact, watch every highlight. If it's not right here, he's going to get the assist if Ronaldo would have put that in. If it's not a set piece... Almost 80% of my goals come from Ronaldo, uh, uh, Ronaldo, whether it's an assist or a goal. This guy's unbelievable. If you can afford to have a striker Sonaldo, I don't care what version he is. If you can have a, 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 a 10 cam striker Sonaldo, you need to get him because Son is unbelievable. Ever since the update came out when he had five-star skills, I mean four-star skills, five-star weak foot. He always had the five-star weak foot. He has become undefendable because you can score from anywhere, and when you get in trouble, you can assist from anywhere. The guy is an unbelievable player, yo. So before people are like, Oh, no, 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 no skills exposed. In game three of this episode, you were in the 4-2-3-1 when the game ended. Yes, I do still go into the 4-2-3-1, Booyah Nation, but I only go into the 4-2-3-1 only when the game is difficult and I already have the lead or if I'm playing against the 4-2-3-1 because I feel confident enough, not because I think I'm better than anybody at FIFA. I feel confident enough that if I'm in the 4-2-3-1 and my opponent's in the 4-2-3-1, that I'm going to be able to control the game just a little bit better than him because I have so much experience experience with that formation that's I mean I went 40 and 0 with that thing man I played so much of it my go-to formation as I says the 4 one 2 2 narrow but this formation right here has just been working for me man it's absolutely been working with this team now Booyah Nation in this episode you're gonna see exactly I finally caught it on camera and I was able to actually put it into the video without forgetting I get into a game in just a little bit stay tuned to the video if you want to see what I do I get into a game where I felt the opponent was better he was better he was passing the ball it doesn't mean he's a better player than you it means he's out formationing you. He means he's out tacticking you. He's out playering you. Just because you're losing to a player doesn't mean that you can't beat him because he's better than you. If you make the right adjustments, which I'm going to show in this episode, you can actually beat anybody in this game. And that's what makes a pro a pro. I, I don't believe I'm a pro. But a lot of the pro guys, they know exactly that. Look at Sonaldo getting assists, man. I'm telling you, this is not a game, man. Wait till you see his stats. The, the pros are pros because they know how to make adjustments in tough games. And you're going to see exactly what I do to get out of a tough situation. Again, I'm not saying I'm a pro. So, anyways, I'm really glad I was able to capture all this stuff for you guys. I told you to get top 100 for the weekly. You got to get... You got to go 10 and then lose one and then go 20 and then lose one. My goal right now is to just go 20 and 2. If we can do that, Booyah Nation, I have faith that tomorrow, which is Sunday, because I just finished playing this gameplay right now. If you don't know, if you don't follow my vlog channel, go check it out, man. That link's down below. But I picked up right at the airport, lots of bunnies, and uh, I kind of just was, we went out and ate, and I didn't really have time to play the games during the day. So I played the games right now, and I'm commentating this at 3 o'clock in the morning, my time. So I, this is all fresh. I just finished playing all these games. I played them all in a row, and uh, yo, I just knew that if I could get to 20 and 1 or 20 and 2, that your boy was in a good place to sneak into the top 100. Now, I, I believe at, at the end of last week, we were three games at a top 100 for the month. So the only way we could sneak into the monthly is if we get 37 or better, Booyah Nation. Now, I don't, I don't, ah, oh, that's tough, man, to get 37. Uh, we've done 38 and 2 on this account before, but 37 is tough. But let me know in the comments if you think I could do it. Let me know. Also, please, while you're in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite player in FIFA as of right now is. What is your favorite card? Is it Ronaldo?
Ronaldo? Is it Sonaldo? Is it Casemiro? I don't care what position it is. Ain't no one going to criticize your comment. Let me know down below what your favorite player in FIFA is as of right now. It could be a goalie for all I care. I make a massive mistake right there, and the game is 1-1. Now, Booyah Nation, one thing I do kind of, you know, kind of want to make sure I let you know is a lot of people think that and I, and I say this to like the 0.1% the of people that even say this, because most of you guys know that all I'm doing here is making a video and, and showcasing players and teams. But to the people that do think that I, I talk about a player just to raise his price to make coins, which that is impossible because my son's been on my team the whole time and he's not going nowhere. Um, Imagine if I just sat up here making this video without actually telling you players I like or formations I like or anything. Then a lot of people watch these videos because somehow they like my commentary, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know. You, I, I feel like I'm completely, I have a horrible voice. But anyways, um, a lot of people sit either watch because they like my commentary or the fact that they just want to get better at FIFA and they feel like that I can help them a little bit. So why would I try to like screw somebody over that is here for help? And also why would I lie to them? And on top of that, if I didn't showcase players, what would be the point? of them watching the video so know that when i do it i do it with the right intention and i'm never looking to screw anybody over man but again if you wait like two or three days the, the hype of the player is going to come down and then your player you're going to get the player for the same price man but as you can see right here we get into a game that this game was very difficult the 4334 is a very good offensive formation it gives me trouble every time i play against the booyah nation no bs man it's a very very tough formation i found a formation that i counters it uh you got you got to go with a any formation with a three flat like a 4321 a 4312 anything with a with the three flat seems to do well look at sonaldo cleaning up right there but it seems to do well for me man and it counters it well. So if you ever get matched up against a 4-3-3 and you're feeling it's a little bit of a difficult game, switch into a, a, a 3CM formation, and I feel like you should be doing all right, man. He takes off here with big boy Suarez, muscles me off, and I'm just waiting right now for the game where I get to show you why I make the massive adjustments. But as you can see, Booyah Nation, um, today is Saturday, which I'm when I'm commentating this. Well, now it's early Sunday, but uh, we didn't lose. We, we haven't lost. We, we've been beasting. We've been feasting. We're trying to get to that point to be able to get sneak into the top 100 and get some nice weekly rewards and put this account in a good place. Play Sonaldo. You guys remember yesterday's video? If you did watch yesterday's video, I was missing all the low drivens. And then today, I'm missing no low driven. So I'm going to say my theory and my conspiracy theory is actually right, man. I feel like, is that Sun again? It is. See, left foot, right foot, it just doesn't matter, man. Big boy Sonaldo with a hat trick and gets us out of a very tough game to give us the W, man. But like I said, I feel like when a lot of people on the servers, Fridays, I think a lot of people are flocking home to play the game after school. And a lot of, they finally get some time to play. They want to start the foot champs, get, it, get off to the right foot. So everybody, on and I feel like it makes the low drivens very difficult to score. That's just my theory. Uh, today, which was Saturday late at night, I felt like every low driven was going in. I felt like shooting was just smooth. The game was smooth and it, I, I didn't miss any low drivens. It's crazy, man. Look at Ronaldo there dribbling like a boss to Sonaldo. Woo! When you have these two cards together, I don't know if it can be stopped, man. Well, it can be stopped because last weekend I believe we got like 34 wins. We got Elite One. We didn't get top 100, so obviously it can be stopped. But this weekend we're doing well with it. Low driven from that shot from freaking Sonaldo and that's in the back of the net nice through pass here somehow some way i can't get to him he bangs one low big boy de gea doesn't get down and the game is 1-1 fantastic goal we move into the second half or excuse me late in the freaking first half uh, about to go into halftime ronaldo turns on the jets look at sonaldo man finesse shot under he nutmegs the center back to score this absolutely fantastic goal ball goes under his legs on a finesse shot into the back of the net goalkeeper with no chance and he's gonna hand us another w right there man so i can you already can see how many wins sun's given like if this was if i didn't have the proof in front of you you could say i was lying about sun but this is not a game man this, sun is the only player in fifa that's besides Weya for me that's kept up with ronaldo to be either positive or close to being positive too wet Let's talk about this legend real quick. This right here is a, a legend from the Booyah Nation. This has only happened to me once. Remember, I used to play 80 games a weekend. I used to play mad games a month. And this has only happened to me once. But my man Wet comes up massive. Too Wet is his name. Sonaldo's holding up the ball. I'm going to lose the ball with Sonaldo, right? And check this out. Too Wet sends it back to his goalie. Hey, clap for the legend. A Booyah Nation member. Yo, he messaged me. He said, he like, we talked for a little bit on, on Xbox. I don't, like, recommend anybody doing this. I don't want to take games from you guys. I would never ask you to do that for me. But this was absolutely awesome. And I never expected it. I don't get it a lot. Like I said, I've only gotten once. You guys watched all my gameplays. I've only gotten it once. But shout out to that legend, man. Scored a goal. Rage quit. Gave me a W, man. So big ups. 
to the Booyah Nation soldier, man. I absolutely love you for that. We jump into a next game where you see this guy started Vidal at striker, but he moves his team around nicely to give me a very tough game, man. That was Tonight was probably the... Look at that banger from Ronaldo. But I, tonight everything went in, but really... Tonight was probably the most difficult night, man. Thursday was all right. Friday was all right. But Saturday night, dude, it was difficult out here, Booyah Nation. It was uh, very, very, very hard games. And I wish I could just go back to Friday night and replay that game that we lost because I feel like we should have done better there. And I feel like we should have taken a loss tonight more than last night. Big boy Ronaldo right there is going to sneak that one under the keeper into the back of the net to make it 2-0. That's a low driven. Last night we couldn't get any to go in and we get that cheese to go in right there. My man Conte, Sonaldo, watch him. Holds up the ball nicely. It's going to go back into Sonaldo. He just makes plays happen. Defenders can't stop him. He's freaking unbelievable. And again, one thing I did do, when I bought Ronaldo, I started catering to Ronaldo. So when I went into the 4-2-3-1 last weekend, I would put Sonaldo at cam and Ronaldo at striker. But no, Sonaldo has to be striker, yo. Sonaldo is the guy, man. Especially the fact that he has that weak foot, left foot, le like either foot is, 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 is his go-to foot because the five-star. He's better than Ronaldo at the striker position for me because for me, my opinion, uh, like for me, he just, he, no matter which way I'm running, he can always score a low driven. So I absolutely love him, yo. He's a great card. He's a must-have right here. A nice through pass into Walcott. Walcott taking off. Small Dini keeping up with Walcott. I'm going to bang this one across and it goes right, 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 right to the keeper. Wait, why did I keep that highlight in the game? Wait, I'm confused. Why did I keep that in the... Oh, wait, maybe I score. Oh, chill. Oh, chill. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Oh, Sonaldo from Ronaldo. Big goal right there. I, I don't know why I kept that there, but now we know. I scored off that. Big ups for that. I thought that was some bad editing. My bad, YouTube. Uh, but yeah, as we go on, man, the guy gives up a silly penalty and uh this this here this is like one of the rare times that i actually give son the penalty i usually always give ronaldo the penalty but son has been carrying me so much this weekend that i actually gave him the penalty and right there i was aiming down the middle i talked to you guys about that yesterday in yesterday's video i was aiming down the middle i guess my fingers are way too fat because i could never get the ball to go down the middle it always goes to the side i need the arrow back man i suck at penalties or take penalties back to what they were last year i like that system way better than this system man but Suarez gets up there and scores a header in a very difficult game. My boy Casemiro holding up the play. Nice pass over there to Erickson who tucks one underneath. 88 Erickson er er has also played better for me in the 4-3-2-1 Booyah Nation. So I, again, man, it's, it's, it's find the right formation for the players you're playing with. Find where they play best. I know in the 4-2-3-1, that's the one with the two defensive mids and like the three cams and stuff. I know Erickson's an, uh, an, an amazing middle cam. That's one thing I do to not do now too to close out games when I switch into a defensive formation. I put Ronaldo at like the left wing, and then I put Walcott at the right wing, and it's Erickson at Cam, middle Cam, and and Sonaldo up top. So it's completely different than what I was trying to do last year, last weekend. Instead of catering to certain players, man, I'm just trying to get the job done. And right here, Sonaldo starts the game off in the first minute, getting the job done. Keeps that bad boy low away from the keeper into the back of the net. It goes then Ronaldo off the corner in a very tough game. I know it's only 12 minutes in, but the guy was a quality opponent. It. I scored two goals early, and that really, really took the pressure off me. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, 2-0 in FIFA, 3-0 in FIFA is nothing, to be honest with you. But uh, it took a lot of pressure off me. My boy Erickson finds Ronaldo into Walcott, and he's going to bang one low. Big boy Walcott still doing his thing. And hey, well, like I said, man, one thing I can say, I know we talked a lot about Sonaldo, what you're seeing take off right here again. Uh, look at that. If you think I try to patch stats with him, I don't. I always give the goal, balls balls off. You're going to see me do it again in this episode where I try to pa I pass it off to Ronaldo. But this game coming up right here, man, this is the game. This is the game we're going to see. I get matched up against this guy right here. He's a fantastic player, a great player. He switched into the 4-2-3-1, I believe. He was giving me a hell of a hard game. Also, just to let you know, right now in FIFA, as of right now, if I had to get rid of every card and keep one, it would be Sun. That's how much I love this guy. This guy with the French kits on gets by me with Griezmann, bangs one low with Griezmann, goes up 1-0. We go to halftime. I had no possession. I don't know if I showed the part of no possession, but yeah, I don't show it. But I had no possession. I meant to go look. I saw he was in a 4-3-2-1. All right. So at this point, I'm like, all right, he's in the 4-2-3-1. I got to counter this guy. Switch into the 4-3-1-2. Okay. Now you're going to see I leave my attackers uh, press back line, get in behind, and uh, everybody else will stay back while attacking except for my freaking uh, cam, which is stay forward. The biggest thing I do, watch what I do here. I go into my tactics. Why? Because he was playing his... His pressure was up high. So every time I try to pass out the back, he had his players so aggressive and so his pressure was so high, I couldn't get the ball off him. For 45 minutes, I believe I had 30% 30, 30 possession, bros. I could not touch the ball. I set my aggression all the way up to 90. 
and watch what happens in this game. I shoot there, he pauses the game, but the ball does go in and it's a goal to me. Remember, I barely touched the ball in the first half. Once I put my aggression up, once I started to press him more, I started team pressing heavy. Iniesta scores right back in two minutes, right after, right after the break, man. 67 minutes in, we're up 2-1. We come right back down the field. My boy old Bobby ain't holding on 90th minute. I send it up. He makes a mistake out of frustration, and we're going to get a penalty, and we're going to put this game away. So make adjustments on the fly, man. If a guy is outplaying you for some reason, don't automatically think he's better than you and you've lost. Try to make adjustments because you're already losing. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to lose by more? Who cares? Losing by one or losing by ten is the exact same thing. So I put my aggression up. I changed my formation. I started pressing higher, and I got him to have to drop his back line deeper but it wasn't enough it was too late we were already up by two so like i said yo you got to see what your opponent's doing read them out yo while this guy's defensive line was pretty much almost in the midfield and and i saw that every time i was trying to pass out the mid out my back he was instantly intercepting the ball and i had to do something i had to change the game and flip it on him so right there you saw what i did i changed my aggression and everything changed at halftime big boy cristiano ronaldo is going to get a goal right there off of sonaldo's assist told you everything in the 4-3 2 1 comes off of Sonaldo. Once again, a banger from outside the box into the back of the net. Well played right there. Is he a righty or a lefty? I don't even know exactly what foot he is because obviously the five star skills changes everything. Nice through pass from the boy Conte. And look here, I could have easily finessed that for the goal. I passed it off to Ronaldo. So I'm not just patting this man's goal stats. It's not what's happening here. Nice pass off to Ronaldo. I wanted the guarantee goal. I missed a lot of those one on ones. So I said, you know what? Let me give it to Ronaldo and try my best. This dude took a rage quit. The game was so tough. Anytime you see me in the 4 2 3 1, you know the game was tough we jump into another game we're getting close booyah nation to going like 25 and 1 all right that's going to leave us with 14 games left on the board and if somehow we can only manage to lose two of them we possibly could get top 100 my man ronaldo to walcott he scores right there making the game one nil in a very hard game this guy had best martial ronaldo this game was tough cristiano's gonna bang one under de gea i thought de gea should have had it he doesn't get it nice goal we come right back though cristiano finds the boy sonaldo and who we gonna turn to sonaldo Low driven finesse shot back of the net. I feel like I might as well just call this episode like Sonaldo or you must have this card or something like that because he's doing everything, man. He carried us, and that's why I'm so happy. Yo, this man carried us, carried us this weekend. 24 and 1 when we jump into another extremely hard game, yo. I'm not lying to you guys. Barely won that last game. I thought we should have lost the game today, not yesterday. Yesterday I felt like Look at that goal, man. Yesterday, I felt like that game, we could have definitely won. The games today that I'm winning, I feel like we should be losing. Sonaldo holds the ball up, finds Walcott. Another assist for Sonaldo. Beautiful finish back. I mean, another assist for, beautiful finish for Walcott. A nice assist for freaking uh, the boy's son. Y'all you, you know where I'm going with that. Walcott scores once again. They don't actually give Walcott that goal. They say that's an own goal. And then he comes right back. And this is cheese, man. Look how I clear the ball. I should have beat it. I'm so bad with that, yo. I would win so many more games if I would just push B. I know a lot of you guys out there feel the same way. He got a corner we get a corner big boy casemiro hops over everybody flies over him he was he was that could do look like he was levitating nice little header right there it's in the back of the net and we pick up win number 25 25 and one booyah nation i just my goal was to get 20 and 2. We're at 25 and 1. I'm going to try to make a push for top 100. It's going to be difficult. You can see me go check it out real quick. I look at the the monthly that's what i wanted to look at was the monthly we're 127 so right now we're in top 100 for the month but i would have to finish really big to be able to get top 100 for the month so one thing i do want to show you before i get out of here some those stats straight up man look at this 219 games played with 211 goals and 119 assists guys i it ain't photoshop man it's right there this guy is unbelievably good he's amazing yo Snatch him up if you want. If you don't believe me, it is what it is. But I absolutely bully your nation. I think this guy's the GOAT, man. Thank you guys. Realistically, you guys are the true GOATs, man. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hopefully, this video helped you, man. You got to see what I did with the adjustments. You got to see who my favorite player was. And you can see how much he does for me. That's all it all. That's all these videos are about, man. You guys having fun and hopefully being able to learn something um, from me. So, yeah. With that being said, man, it's been your boy Skills. Big old thumbs up. will be appreciated. Make sure to subscribe to the Bully Nation if you haven't already, man. Also, if you want to, like, know when I go, when my video goes up, hit that little notification. I never told y'all but if y'all hit that bell i'm pretty sure y'all know y'all youtube vets but if you hit that uh that bell 
you'll get notified when my video goes up, man. I love your faces, man. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay amazing. I'm going to catch you tomorrow for some more Road to Foot Champs, all right? Booyah. We need top 100. We need some top 100 rewards. It's been like two weeks since your boy got top 100, and we need it. So with that being said, we going out there trying to do the best we possibly can. We're going to have the mentality. We're going to put a mentality on here. We're going to put that positive energy into the universe, and we're going to go out there and try to get this freaking top 100. Let's do it together. With that being said, yo, big us for the... 21,000 likes, man. That means the world to me. This is the team we're rocking up with for game one of our 40. Thank you for 20,000 likes. Yo, can we get 5,000 likes in the first hour? Let me get that positive vibe, man. Let's get top 100. 5,000 likes in the first hour. That's, that's, that's the key to success.